Welcome to Patterns Explained, the series where I discuss the magical aspects that are designed into my Light From Lantern knitting patterns. This time, I'll be explaining my Wish Cowl. This is a sport weight design that uses color magic as a way to activate the energies of grounding, centering, and of course, your wish. But why grounding and centering along with your wish energy? Why not knit it all in the wish color? Yeah, you sure could. However, I like to approach a wish with a little bit more premeditation. And that typically comes after grounding myself so I can center on what I really want my wish to be. Because sometimes when we're in a rush, we accidentally wish for what we don't want instead of what we do. This is why the pattern starts by casting on with your grounding color or color a, which is right here. If you want your color work section here to stand out, it's important to assign color A to a darker color. These types of colors often have a grounding feeling anyway. After grounding, we transition into centering. And if you want more contrast in your color work, this is where you'll want to assign a lighter color so that you have this dark and light contrast. For my color B here, I chose white. As you knit this section, you're focused and your wish becomes clear in your mind, sort of like a daydream. And finally, the wish color can be any color you want. Definitely go with your gut on this one. If your wish is for love, consider maybe red or pink. If you're looking for abundance, you might want to go with green or gold. And if you need inspiration, take a dive through your stash or take a spin through your local yarn store if you have one. See which colors evoke the feelings you're looking for and have fun with it. And if you feel yourself struggling to choose colors, just remember this. All your choices will be correct in the end because you'll already have made them figure that one out. But also, to help you plan all this out, the pattern includes a separate PDF that is a template on how to choose your colors and build your wish. I also break down this entire sample so that it is super easy for you to follow along and make your own. I have different prompts for the grounding, centering, and wish sections. And here on page seven is the entire breakdown of how I chose my colors, what they stand for, so that you can apply this to yours. For example, to represent my grounding color, I chose brown. For me, it relates to literal soil. I'm in the ground and that's very grounding. To represent centering, I chose white because for me, that's a void color. When you're so doused with light that you lose all the definition on things, it's a good reminder not to sweat the small stuff. And that is, Again, leading into the mega wish, which is go with the flow in this case, which is why I chose aquamarine. Aquamarine reflects things that are smooth, serene, and inspires the ability to trust and go with our guts, to let go. And so now, every time I wear it, I'm reminded, don't sweat the small stuff. Just go with the flow. Have fun on this adventure called life. By assigning meaning to the colors in the cowl, you'll notice the related feelings at the forefront of your mind. And when you're finished, the wish cowl becomes a physical embodiment and reminder of your wish. Plus, it makes the whole process of choosing colors fun and meaningful. I hope this video inspires you to add some magical intention to your next project. And if you'd like to knit a wish cowl for yourself, you can find the pattern on Ravelry, or you can grab a curated kit from my yarn partner at UU Yarns. Whether you've knit a wish cowl or not, let me know in the comments what color you'd make your wish. And if you want to learn more about how to knit with color magic, my self-paced workshop is a great way to build your own correspondences with color. I'll leave all of the information for everything in the description. I look forward to seeing you again next month for another Patterns Explained. If you enjoyed this content and are excited to see more, go ahead and subscribe. It's a free way to support my work. Thanks for watching and merry make.